Hey everyone. Well, it is my 100th video, and I thought, since it's been about a year, that what I would do is something special. What we're going to do is, we're going to look at my first video series that I did, which was refurbing my 2001 Suburban. And since it's been 12 months going, let's see how everything held up. This vehicle is not garage, it is not parked under a carport, it is outside 24-7. In fact, the first time I've washed it since I repainted it was today. So we're going to take a look at it. Let's see how everything held up. Okay, let's start with the front. The hood held up fantastic. You know, this, this hood was, the paint was bad, as you'll recall. Um, and it looks good. It looks good. My headlight refurb, they still look good. They're starting to yellow, but it's been a year. Not bad. The grill, just dirty. Actually, that came out great. The black, so we used hammered black on the plastic parts of the bumper. This isn't paint chipping. That's actually um, tree sap that got on it because I had it parked over there. You'll see where the avalanche is. Um, and it was parked there for a couple of months while I was doing work on the house every night. And a couple times tree sap dripped on it. It also got on the hood. And it's a little difficult to take tree sap off uh, spray can paint. Um, the, the paint I used on the bumper and the rust that I sealed on the bumper held up fantastic. Um, the Forever Black I used on this pretty much looks the same as when I put it on. It looks like I should have done a second coat, but it hasn't faded. It hasn't faded at all. The hooks that I painted black came out good. Um, let's move around. Let's look at how it well went. The one thing I will say about the hammered paint that changed somewhat over the last year is it had kind of a bit of a gloss to it, and that has kind of faded. But overall, the black has held out really well. Uh, here's an interesting point. These running boards, I believe, I actually used shoe polish on them. And I wanted to compare how it held up with the Forever Black. And I would say it held up about 90% uh, of what Forever Black did for the year. So black shoe polish is an alternative for the, this, this type of plastic. My uh, running board rust fix obviously the rust didn't come through the aluminum flashing that i wrapped over it so they, those all still look good this rear quarter has the rust fix that i did uh right as i was painting it and this was around here or so and you can see right there there's a little bit of rust coming back through other than that it held up pretty good for the year um, i know a lot more about how to do that now what I should have done before I sealed it up was rubbed it full of navel jelly and really gotten rid of the rust. But uh, that's something I can fix really easy. Uh, these stickers, this used to be red. It's now orange. So uh, I can't recommend these stickers too well. They didn't come out that good. Let's move around the back. Um, you'll see we've got the Marquardt Motors logo on the back. Um, the black, forever black, I put on the rear bumper looks great. It held up fantastic. The paint on the rear deck, or the rear rear uh, hatch, held up great. Um, if you saw my video where I chain, where I had to take this back window out, and I fixed it with um, JB Weld, that was about a month ago, and I haven't changed it yet. I know I said I was going to, and I just didn't. I wanted to kind of see if that was going to be a lasting fix, and so far it's fine. The sail panels, which were the first thing I did, I painted hammered black, held out fantastic. This sticker decal is starting to peel right there. I don't really care for those decals. I, I, they just, you know, they faded really quickly. Within a couple months, they faded. This rust fix, which was not the emergency rust fix down on this quarter down here, um, which I, I actually took the time to repair because I wasn't in the middle of spray painting the car. Held up perfect, no rust came through. Um, some paint peeled off this rocker panel, but that's because this is the one rear passenger door and I use this a lot. Um, we go out, we take this vehicle out and there's usually a third person and they get in there and they've obviously been scraping their feet uh, on that aluminum flashing repair that I did. 
My wheels that I put on it with these tires, still fantastic. Obviously they're factory, 2017 or 2018 Chevy wheels. They look great. Interestingly, no matter how much we use these door panel, these door handles, um, the paint has not worn at all. The hammered, you know, really good, really good. These have not started to melt yet, like the ones that I took off, which is good. My roof rack has held the black really well. Overall, the hammered gray looks fantastic and has not started to peel, nor has the hammered black. Um, there's one spot that I noticed when I washed it. And one of the reasons why I washed it was because if you want to find flaws in a car, wash it right there. See that? Right here. The paint peeled. Easy fix. All I got to do is hit it with a little sandpaper and then... Um, spray some more hammered black on it, or uh, gray rather. And what's interesting is that uh, the roof has more paint on it than anything. I think I used eight cans just on the roof. All right, let's talk about some of the accessories. Um, this thing's been great. It's been hit a couple times by rocks, but the hood has never had a rock hit it. Um, you can see it does, it catches bugs. And see these chips? Uh, to get out of the lights you can see it. look at that something really hit that that would have hit my hood i know gm will tell you not to put these things on it because they wreck the aerodynamics but you know if it saves my paint it's probably worth it these things are great no problems with these um they look good the tow mirrors are great my one gripe is this this thing um I'll have to look up what brand it was, but it was not a cheapie. It was not some cheap thing I bought from Amazon. It only has two clips that hold it on. And it has a nasty habit of at 55 to 65 miles an hour, it vibrates. And it, it's loud when it vibrates. If I had a third clip, I could probably tie it down. And I may actually write to the manufacturer and get a third clip. But uh, that's about it. I mean, honestly, it looks way better than I thought it would. A year later if i actually replaced those rear decals it would probably look almost as good as when i when i just freshly painted it so overall i'd say well worth well worth doing considering how paint was literally you know like i said in the video series if you did this the paint would come off in your hands and uh nope i haven't lost much of anything it, it looks almost as good as the day i painted it so there you have it our one year walkthrough to see how well my rustoleum hammered paint job on my 2001 suburban did i'm really happy with it it's a year going and i still get compliments in fact one of the funniest compliments i got was i came out of lowe's and somebody was standing there staring at it and he said is this yours and i said yeah and he said is that a vehicle wrap <laughs> <laughs> because of the hammered color because i'm telling you on camera it doesn't look as really interesting as it looks uh in person in person it really does look like aircraft aluminum and i said no it's actually spray cans and he was dumbfounded he's like what kind of paint is that and i told him it's rust-oleum hammered gray and he's like it looks fantastic and i was like well thank you so you know this was worth doing. It's pretty funny. It gets a lot of compliments because it's a unique color. You know, a lot of these Suburbans had that kind of silver champagne color. Like it was almost like everyone had that color. And if you ordered a different color, they had to respray it because there's thousands of these trucks that have that champagne color. And this doesn't. This has a darker gray aluminum look. It's quite striking, especially with the wheels and the, and the tent and all the accessories. It's really a good looking truck now. So, um, you know, if you're if you're interested in doing this, I highly recommend it. This this was not that hard to do, and the paint has stuck like glue. So even if you're painting over really weak paint, sand it down. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to get a mirror finish on the metal. This will cover it, and it'll stick. All right, a couple other notes while I wrap this up. We've hit over 700 subscribers, so thank you to each and every one of you who have subscribed. I hope you like this type of content. I've got some, some plans in the future for more projects to do on my Suburban and my Avalanche. Uh, we'll get back to automotive stuff soon. And I want to thank you again. It's, it really means a lot to the channel, and I hope you enjoy the content. If you haven't uh, liked and subscribed, 
please do. So the, subscribing to the channel means a lot. Uh, we're hoping to get to a thousand subscribers in the next six months. I think it's doable. You know, we're at 700 now, so uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a possibility and it's a goal to set. And again, what I always say on this channel is if you want to take on a project like this, it's some sanding. I think the only power tool I used maybe was an orbital sander. You know, maybe I used a, an electric drill here or there. Um, you can do it. It's a basic skill set. All you need to do is go out and get busy. Take care.